If you want to see how I got these big, beautiful, bouncy, pillowy curls, please stay tuned. Alright. So, finally, I've gotten to this, or uh, whatever, but this is going to be a hair tutorial on the, the wave slash curls that I've been wearing probably in the last, I want to say, a couple of months or whatever. Um, that everybody, and there, I've never gotten so many like requests for a tutorial as I have for this one, which is crazy. So, no, this is not how, this is, no, I'm not done. I haven't even got started. But, um, it's going to be basically on the waves. Now, um, or the curls, or whatever. Like the soft, bouncy curls that you like, y'all like so much. Um, so I don't want to do too much rambling. But these I, leftover curls are from Saturday, and it's Wednesday. And I just have my hair in a bonnet, and just been laying on it. And I just combed it out, and kind of went over my leave out a little bit. Um, and I kind of get, some people requested, like, how do I get my leave out straight? So I kind of go over that. But I'm going to just kind of go through some products that you're going to need for this tutorial. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is a curling iron. And I'm using my Conair curling iron that has the little the buttons here. And um, this curling iron, it was $19.99 at Target. This is the only one that I use. I think it's a 1 in 1 fourth inch iron. You can tell this smoking, but it's, it gets hot. I think it goes up to 400 degrees. Um, if I'm, it's the Conair uh, Pro Infinity. Um, I was going to get a 2 inch barrel, but I decided not to because it costs more. So I was like, I'm not about to do that. But I'm actually happy I got this one because this is exactly what I need. Um, the next thing that you're going to need if you're going to go over your leave out is you're just going to need a flat iron of any kind. People ask me what kind of flat iron I use. This old ass flat iron that got tape on it right here is from when I was in beauty school and we had got our kits and mine came with these uh, golden hot flat irons. Um, I've been using these forever. I have like four other flat irons but these are like my go-to that never do anything but what the hell I needed to do especially with my thick ass hair. So these are the only ones that I pretty much use. Um, you're going to need a paddle brush of any kind of whatever you use a comb um you're gonna need two rollers like this if you don't have two rollers it's okay you can use a flexi rod but i would prefer these um you need some edge control which i've already this is the edge control that i use for everybody who keeps asking it is it doesn't flake it doesn't get um white and all of that mess um and then you're gonna need two sizes in your flexi rods you're gonna need a like this size they don't have to be exactly these they could be a little bit smaller a little bit bigger it just depends on what you want and then these smaller ones so pretty much these are the two sizes that you're going to need and you're going to need some clips so um before i got started and i had did my leave out i did it off camera i used this is like the holy grail of what i use to keep my hair nice and shiny and to blend with my weave i use this it don't blend too great right now because I just I went over it real rough. But this is the Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat um, Heat Protecting Spray. It has like a citrusy, orangey smell to it or whatever. I love this stuff to death. I actually got hip to this um, when I was in beauty school because um, they would give it, they would sell it in the front or whatever. But you see how easy it just makes everything flow so this is if you don't if you're not really great at blending I mean you only need a little bit but if you're not great at blending this actually this stuff is actually really really good um another thing that I wanted to say before we get started is my hair is cut okay I have in a 22 and 18 no a 22 or 20 or 18 and a 16 so to make that in layman's terms this is a layer this is a layer as you can see they're not the same and then this is a bottom layer so I have their hmm, how can I put it it's a little thicker up here than it is at the bottom I didn't cut the bottom I only cut it to in a front to frame my face to go down but the rest of this actually is and I never cut the back so it's just the sides and the front that are layered so whenever you if you want to get your hair cut just tell them that you want a three tier layer and they're just basically here here and then the bottom uh, layer or whatever okay so let's get started what you're gonna do is you're gonna part your hair in two sections like such 
and then you're going to take one section which would be whatever section you choose and you're going to pin it up now some people work from back to front I tend to work from side to side because it seems to be a little bit easier for me so now what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to just kind of eyeball it and pick a section which is about this much of a section we're going to take all of this and I know I have some more big books in here. I can use this one. And we're gonna take, we're gonna brush it out. We're gonna take our curling iron. Make sure that your stuff is on. Now, what I'm gonna do that most people do not do is I'm gonna curl everything towards the camera. Most people will tell you to curl everything away from your face I the reason why I curl everything towards my face is because I like those big billowy cur curls um, and I hate that when you do the wings right here when you do curl it away from your face when they fall they fall like this and then it's this big gap and then it falls and I find that to be also unattractive um, and plus I like that 1940s 1960s 50s look or whatever and that's pretty much the curl that we're going for so everything that I'm gonna curl is I'm gonna curl everything towards so pretty much you're just gonna take all your hair and you're gonna curl everything towards your face um, it's pretty self-explanatory you don't have to do much just keep curling and make sure you curl just in three full sections and over direct the curls so that when you take them out they're bouncy and not flat Okay, now when you put the roller in, you press it to, like against the curl, and then you roll into your face. If you were going to do it a different way than the, you would put the roller behind the curl, and then you would roll it away from your face. Most people get the directions mixed up, but yeah, it's pretty, it's not that hard. Just remember your directions, because sometimes I will do my hair, and I'll start curling or rolling in a different direction, and then realize like, okay, now you have to recurl it. But as you can see here, I'm curling everything inward so that when I take it out, everything is in the same direction. You can do like one row in one direction and then one row in another direction and it also will give you a wave. But it doesn't necessarily, it gives you more like a beachy wave and this is more like a defined, uh, bigger, bouncy wave. get to the top here you're gonna curl still you're gonna curl inward but you're gonna curl kind of over direct the curling iron a little high and then roll in so that that roller kind of sits uh, like an offset base at your hair now right here what I'm explaining is um, everything pretty much all your rollers go towards your face and then we're gonna put the bigger roller in the front and what this does is it's going to add a lot of volume. I use Garnier Fructis' um, humidity spray because it flexes. And when you put a nice amount of hairspray because you want things to stay, it's good to have a flexible um, hairspray. So pretty much here, I'm just curling it. Um, it's 
kind of at an angle, not straight up, but kind of at an angle because this is the piece that's going to kind of fall in my face. Um, and you want this to be a little more defined. So pretty much that's how it's going to look. But we're going to use the roller because as you know, I press my hair and when you press it, it takes all the body out. So this is basically putting the body back in that we took out once before with the present comb and the flat iron. And you pretty much just wrap it around and then you use two big duck bill clips um, to um, hold them. You can use bobby pins as well if you choose to. And I do spray. You will see me use a nice amount of hairspray. My hair never gets crunchy. It never gets hard. Um, but it does stay. And which the whole purpose of this is that you want your curls to stay as long as possible. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm going to respray and then I'm going to probably spray like two more times after this. But this usually is just the first time I do it and then after this, I never have to spray it again. I usually just flexi rod it and go to bed. California sunshine. And then I use the flat iron spray because this stuff is actually really good. It keeps, it protects your hair from any heat damage, obviously. But it actually really does help to keep your hair shiny and soft and um, actually smell good. So I use uh, quite a bit of that. I actually got it from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I think it was about five bucks. Here, as you can see, I had a little confusion. But um, I'm just pretty much going to do the same thing on this side that I did on the other side. And when you put in your flexi rods, make sure they're pretty tight um, because these things tend to come out and they tend to not want to stay sometimes. So make sure you, I mean, they're, they flex. So you can get as ignorant with them as you choose to um, in order for your hair to actually stay in place and those curls to be defined and not move. And just a side note, you notice that I'm putting the bigger rollers at the bottom and the smaller rollers at the top because I want them a little bit tighter and more defined at the top than I do the bottom. Okay, so this is pretty much what you'll be left with. There is, people always ask me, is it heavy? It's not heavy because there's nothing in the back. Basically, you do the perimeter of your head around the sides. And as you can see, my favorite spray. I'm spraying again and this is just to lock in and it actually helps pull the curls down a little bit quicker um, but it locks it in and of course some more little um, heat protecting spray and I let them sit for about an hour when I do this um, so if you don't want to have to sit for about an hour an option you can have is use a hooded dryer or as you can see here I use my T3 uh, limited edition Barbie blow dryer and use the cool shot to actually help it cool quicker um, and as you can see this is the takedown for it and it's pretty self-explanatory you just take them down try not to disturb the flexi rods when you do take them down kind of roll them in the way that you put them in um, and as you can see, as I'm going to get a little snag here, sometimes because of the little uh, plastic things, your hair gets caught sometimes. And as you can see, I was having a very difficult time taking this one out. Yeah, I didn't ruin the curl. Um, so just be a little bit patient. And you'll see in a second what I mean by adding the volume back. Now, you're going to notice that I'm going to point out that that side is actually tighter than this side, and that's because I did that one first and then did this one. So it is very imperative that you let these curls set and sit if you want them to be even on both sides. Because a few times this has happened to me because I've been in a rush and really kind of wanted to kind of hurry up and take them out so I could go. Okay, as you can see in the spray. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't use product in their hair. I actually do. It doesn't give me buildup or anything. It actually just helps the style hold better. Especially when you do this on fresh hair. It's really hard to get the style to stay. So this actually does help. I just took a, a hard bristle brush I got from my local beauty supply, which is about a dollar. And I use this to just comb my, well, brush down my leave out that was looking a little janky. 
as you can see um, and basically we're gonna just style it at this point and just comb your hair into place and this really all depends on the person you have to pretty much style it like you want it I wanted my hair like very beauty queen very big um, and you don't have to have it like this you could definitely comb these out or brush them out and have more of a sleeker look but I wanted them bigger just for example purposes because I didn't do nothing but put the flexi rods right back in as soon as I turned the camera off um, but yeah you just play with it pretty much and kind of get the look that you want especially in the front and just kind of go from there and once you get that in place you're pretty much done and um, yeah definitely pretty easy they're very soft and very bouncy <laughs> it a little bit and yeah you pretty much get what you want as far as you know this part is concerned just curl it and then kind of let it set usually I have I would put more volume right here but I'm about to rewrap it so it really doesn't really serve a purpose um but yeah that's pretty much the gist of it it's not hard to do at all especially when you get used to it but the flexi rods do help a lot to give you these nice pillowy beautiful curls and they do hold they hold mines usually hold for um a couple of days uh, like i said before this mines i had the last time i did it was saturday so it's wednesday and they were still in and they were still pretty tight um so yeah they last you a long time i only use the um the curlers when i first do it and the only reason why i redid it is because i wanted to show an example but i do i will do a tutorial on how they pretty much look if i don't use um flexi rods and i just use the curling irons so yeah um i guess that's it you know pretty much that all had to get and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i know this was highly requested so yeah, what they look like and again I have it this is my Sheena's Hair Emporium hair this is the body weight in 20 22 20 18 and 16 so yeah I will talk to you guys later and I hope you enjoyed this bye